people welcome back to yard and abroad tv please remember to hit the subscribe button turn on post notification like comment share and subscribe as i said if you're not familiar with this channel we talk about issues in jamaica the caribbean and the whole world people Wagwan people, Wagwan, welcome back to my channel once again, people. Big up in yourself as usual. So today we are gonna to talk about a chicken farmer, people. We are talking about a chicken farmer that was awarded 65 million dollar. Yes, people, you heard it right. Chicken farmer wins 65 million court case against jps jamaica public service company you know say a long time jps a thief people so it has said this uh, may i get this from nationwide people it's in a recent judgment last heard on september 25th rosemary samuels has been awarded 65 million after making claims to the court against jamaica public service company limited jps for damage and trespass Miss Samuels is the registered owner of a land in Rhymesbury, Clarendon. Miss Samuels explained that in 1996, people, 1996, you know, people, that our, let me get that correct. That's 20, that's about 24 years, you know, people. 24 years, people, 1996? No, sir. So it's a JPS trespass on the land by unlawfully erecting and maintaining its overhead power lines and poles across its perimeter so this is a case of a person who know them rights and know the law and know what jps cannot do because some people you know in a country and the government or jps do certain things that them feel that is okay but as long as you know your rights and you know what is correct i mean take them to court people take them to court she added that after purchasing the land it was being used for rearing chickens in modernized chicken houses miss samuel says she was given permission by best dressed chicken to build six chicken houses the farmer explained that she only constructed four chicken habitats however the installation of jps overhead power lines deprived miss samuels from using the land to its full potential she has a point because the power lines got erected over the land she couldn't use the land to its full potential and power line and chicken and you never know what kind of you know chemical electrolytes whatever you are call it <laughs> but i have no message people but you got me i said so she said she couldn't use the, the land to its full potential just because of the wires hanging over her land so i said miss samuels contends that she was prevented from constructing the additional chicken houses because jps installed equipment across the perimeter on january 29 2010 the court granted a summary judgment in favor of miss samuels on the basis that jps had no reasonable prospect of successfully defending the claim jps appealed the decision however it was denied because their documents used to enter the land was a contractual license the court of appeal held that jps contractual license seized immediately after the land was transferred to miss samuels therefore they became trespassers when they entered the property so yes people she has been awarded 65 million and i'm thinking them should have just paid her in 2010 when um they had made a judgment so jps now probably are gonna raise them light bill and are the jamaican public gonna have to pay for this somehow them now fart that out of for them own pocket people so miss samuels now can raise any amount of chicken he want with this 65 million dollar people let me know in the comment section when you think about this was it was this a fair um judgment people from 1996 to 2020 but maybe big, big up miss samuels because jano most people probably that give up but she knew her thing she knew say she had 
her documents correct and she know what she was in court fighting for and she came out victorious you have to give her props for that people because as i said more people most people would have given up and call it quits cause you know them company them not gonna win us so them can't have them lawyer i got quote every day i know business but them i think say all right you know the little farmer i got to just call it quits but no she stick with it big up yourself people let me know in the comment section as i said when i think about this judgment let me know drop some comments about it people so yo people as we are on the subject of farming people mega showing you know, a video people of this young lady her instagram name is farmer girl jesse people and i started following her like probably last year and she made an instagram account highlighting her farming in saint elizabeth you know people because when i came across this instagram account and i'm like yo this girl from saint elizabeth and you don't really see too much woman especially in her age doing farming so when we see her page i was i was proud of her it felt like somebody me know because if you see a young woman i try a thing and i do her farming and she has show you her crops and thing people i was like yo this is awesome but come to find out people the other day somebody went into her somebody went to where she had her crops growing i know i so said them thief some of her produce people them thief sweet pepper before and then went and thief i think she said sweet potato people check out the video and me me giving them my opinion on these people how can mankind be this heartless huh how can mankind be this heartless a young woman at 25 which is very rare it's rare out here being a full-time farmer and a mother and you're out here breaking her down by teeth in her stuff hmm? Teeth in her stuff. Teeth in from her children. Hmm? Destroying her household because this is my job. And if you destroy my job, you destroy my household. You're teeth in from my children. And you feel comfortable to come out here in the middle of the night to destroy what I took three and a half months to build. To destroy it in a couple hours. So my opinion on these people is that them brother are persons who did this for rotten. I'm not going to lie. If you see a trying young lady, if you see someone trying, you're, as he you said, you're taking away food from our family, from our kids. You know, go dig up the young girl produce in a middle of the night, early morning. Them people are heartless and cold. You know, how you can sleep at night knowing that the girl put so much effort into her farming three to four months making sure that the the crops are properly watered taken care of and y'all within a lazy self just feel like you can just go up there and just steal our stuff it's fair it's very terrible you don't need to do better you don't need to do better and one the good thing that came out of this people scatterborel on instagram started a gofundme for her people and people have been donating and scatter says she he's gonna give her all the donation fee replenish what she lost people and then if you're willing to donate um just go on scatter Borel instagram page and you know donate whatever you can because this is a young lady who is trying and me just want to say yo farmer girl jesse if you're watching this trust me don't give up what you do keep at it do not give up do not give up you're farming just because of them evil people. And I guarantee you, you know, it's probably somebody who live in the neighborhood or the district people. I'm not gonna lie. The only problem I had when I found her Instagram page, I said to myself, like, this probably just I go show the thief in farmer them, the other one. And probably not even farmer, they're a the thief in people them what she's doing and probably a pre hour stuff them. I may mean, I guarantee you people is somebody who lives in that neighborhood live in that district can nobody from kingston now uh, drive all the way down this so if you go steal our stuff it's somebody who who lives in a district know where her crops are 
And I them probably line up people for go do it. I'm telling you. But I not go line up people. Me usually do farm in Jamaica and this when things like this happen, me da go over there go sleep in you know? But she's a young lady, she can't do them things. But me as a man, me da go over there go lay down in my blow out crops. Me go lay down, lay away them, you see. Wickedness man. People let me know what I'm thinking in the comment section. Drop some comments and let me know anything about this, people. Alright? Thank you once again for tuning in and bless up in yourself. Much love and appreciation.